अच्छी है आपकी मस्त है बट मेरी बाइक आपसे ज्यादा लाउड है सर सुपुता रही है होई नहीं देख लो ओके सॉरी ओके सर लिसन टू माय नंबर एनफील्ड कॉस्ट ओवर टेन लाख रुपीज ये देखो expensive royal enfield interceptor builds you will come across in india at this point and it has been put together by mean green customs in mumbai but it costs as much as super bikes go these days say a z900 or even a triumph boni my god how is this so expensive why is this so expensive that's cause it's filled with super bike parts So before we go into Mean Green ne kya kiya ye bike ke sath let's just rack up the bill kaise ye 10 lakh banta hai i'm going to get to that right away so let's start with the fact that this actually has the suspension of a ducati panigale can you freaking believe that now the cost on that is something else altogether but that's why this feels so much like a super bike this clutch that you see right here is actually a hydraulic clutch heat resistant paint on the engine block on the exhaust covers as well as the header rizoma grips a brass chain moto gadget indicators and 17 inch custom aluminum rims i am dying to listen to this so let's go section of this motorcycle it has clearly been cut and to make this beautiful bloody tail this is one gorgeous tail so if you look closely the tail lamp is actually integrated into this beautiful tail section and this red it pops beautifully against this paint job it's so simple but so effective one of my most favorite parts of this motorcycle now that clear 
Kali is a 180 section tire. Those are <laughs> those are Pirelli Diablo Rossos <laughs> that this interceptor is wearing, and the front is a 150. Clearly, I'm loving the gold rims. They just stand out beautifully against this extremely classy paint job. And yeah, we've moved all of this here. So now you got to start the bike like that. So. I know that you guys are used to me starting with the cosmetics in every single video but this interceptor has so many mad toys on it that I just had to start the video with that and now we can come to the cosmetics of this motorcycle so clearly if you look at it this paint job makes this look like a rather expensive product uh it does not look like your normal uh ari custom interceptor the tank it is slightly customized not much change on that these side panels they are custom made the fender that's also made in house the clip ons are made in house <laughs> the headlamp is custom like i mentioned earlier this beautiful brake light that just illuminates this whole tail section also made in house i hope you guys have done the addition because my math is shit So yeah as far as i know we have uh, crossed 8 and a half 9 lakhs and we are just about to hit 10 lakhs so that's insane for a royal enfield interceptor i am still ride well they're very hard to ride there's something or the other that's going on on them that makes them unpleasing to ride but with green green i have to say he really knows what he's doing aditya has always even when with the older bike that i did the benelli he really really he puts a part and he knows that it's going to serve a purpose he doesn't just put a part for the heck of it for the name of it or because the owner has all the money in the world right suspension and to put it on a royal enfield interceptor now that is not something a regular joe would do not at all not but at then all. a bike comes like that to you and you would take a regular bike and you would actually make a super bike out of it like i told everyone today as well this didn't feel like a royal enfield at all of course so it's because the quality of parts the quality of parts that we've used right better the material better the parts better the quality so the better the build And the better it rides. Yeah. And the more planted it is on the street. Yes. Nah, he. Here, the interview is right. Chup. Better. Ah, Adab, 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 Adab. Meet Adab, Adab. His name is Adab. Essentially, to be spending ten lakhs on a basic Royal Enfield interceptor is not something that eats you or your clients from within. Ah, uh, not really. You should have the taste for it. Basically, Absolutely. the client needs to know. I think this engine is worthy enough. But basically, I really want to say, riding this today has been a huge revelation for me because I never expected something. <laughs> Karachi me aane wale ho. Karachi se log Eid manane apno me andarun mulk ja rahe hain. Yeah, he goes from now. Yes, piche se. But yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm riding a regular Royal Enfield interceptor, and I have to like say, man, kudos to that shit. Mad props to you for this. 
A brilliant build. It's my pleasure, my art. It's for you all to see. Thanks, man. Anytime. Okay, guys. So that is it from today's video from Team Bike with Girl. Uh, firstly, thank you for all your prayers for my foot. As you can see, I have moved the level up. Today, I have cast this on. It is about one and a half weeks away. My full recovery scene. But then physio has to start right away because my foot has become like a stone. That aside, I just want to say I ride my fair share of custom motorcycles, but to be able to take parts from different big bikes and actually make them work on a small motorcycle, it takes a lot. Trust me, it really takes a lot. It takes a lot of thinking, it takes a lot of know-how uh, and Aditya at Mean Green Customs really knows what he's doing because not one thing felt off on this bike. And usually when I ride mods, a lot of things feel off. So, anyway, do come back for my next video. Uh, hope you enjoyed what we did today. Like, subscribe, share. Sabko batana. Bike with girl ke baare mein. Sabko batana. Sabko batana. Sabko batana. Sabko batana. Sabko batana. See ya.